Now let's see this question on the token bucket. Consider a token bucket of capacity 250 KB and the tokens arrive at a rate of 2 Mbps. If the maximum output rate is 25 MB per second, then what is the burst time? So they are saying that if the, if the maximum output rate that we have achieved is this much, how much time it would have taken for you to achieve this time, this one, right? So how much time? if the if the you know if at this rate if you are going to get the tokens and if this is the initial capacity how much time should you wait by that time you know you get this maximum of 25 mbps so how to solve this is we have seen the uh, same one in the you know earlier video so now if you observe it the maximum number of packets that we can send let us say we don't know the time right so let us say the time is t okay so in this time how many packets we could send initial capacity i could send t plus what is the rate at which the tokens are coming in let us say r is the rate at which the tokens are coming in and in t time these many tokens will come therefore you can you will be able to send these many bytes so here they are talking about only bytes right so whenever they say they said that the token the capacity is kb it means they are talking about the tokens in terms of bytes every byte is a token okay instead of packets they are talking about bytes here now this is the total number of bytes we could send out in time t right then how many bytes you could send out in one second this is the time right now this is equal to the maximum rate which we are going to get got it so now they are asking what this t could be so how to find out the t so c equal to m into t minus r into t that implies t equal to c by m minus r now what is c c is initial capacity so if all are in the same units no problem if some of them are in packets and some of them are in bytes you try to convert everything into the same units so here everything is in bytes so no problem now m minus r so what is m so m is the maximum rate so maximum rate is 25 mbps right so 25 mbps minus 2 mbps now what is this value 250 kb divided by 23 mb Yes, right so how many seconds is it going to be it is going to be 10.86 milliseconds if you compute it got it that is the answer so if you let this rate come for this many this much time then the number of bytes that would have entered the network would would have been at a rate of 25 mbps got it so which means if you compute this you are going to get 25 mbps if you allow the rate for 10.86 milliseconds that is the meaning of it okay now in this question you might have got a doubt see the rate in which the tokens are coming is only 2 mbps but how are you able to get the out rate as you know the rate at which the packets or bytes going out at 25 mbps which is very much greater than this right how is it possible is because of the initial capacity so if the bucket is already having 24 kb initially and if you push it right away instantaneously now what happened is instantaneously you are able to push out 250 kb right and now you are trying to divide it across this entire time then if you try to spread it across this entire time then you are going to get an average of 25 mbps got it now if you try to increase this time period let us say from here to here then you have to spread only this amount plus some little amount which is 2 mbps which is going to be added constantly right this 2 mbps is going to be added continuously but only initial burst which we got because of this particular uh, you know full bucket has to be divided and now it will even decrease further got it so as you increase the time what happens is the maximum rate will touch the rate of the tokens right which means whatever rate at which the tokens are coming in that is the rate you can maintain at the output you cannot go beyond it so why you can see this now let's try to divide this you know the maximum rate is equal to let's try to divide 
see let's see what happens if i increase the time to infinity right if i want to find out what is the maximum rate we can maintain over a long period of time not just for 10 10.86 milliseconds 10.86 milliseconds is a very little time only over that time if you average out whatever packets are being sent or bytes are being sent you got 25 milliseconds as the out out rate right but then if you consider it over a long period of time which means as t tends to infinity what will be the maximum rate so the maximum rate is going to be now you divide numerator and denominator by t then what do we get limit t tends to infinity c by t plus r divided by 1 right now what will happen c by t is going to be 0 limit ten, c, t tends to 0 right therefore maximum rate is going to be the input rate as the time tends to infinity as we increase the time the maximum rate and the input rate both are going to be same you cannot exceed it but at some point in time if the bucket is already full if the token bucket is already full you will experience or you will you will get an illusion that the rate has increased tremendously but that sustains only over a small period of time as you increase the time again the outflow will will never uh, beat the inflow got it okay